How to build a krell patch. Put airplane B in self-cycling mode. Attack at 10 o'clock, decay at noon. Note the steady pattern in the LEDs. Put airplane A in self-cycle mode. Attack at 10, decay at 2. Patch CV output of A to CV attack input of B. Adjust the attenuverter to the right and see the asymmetrical lights flashing. Let's hear this. Take audio out from the further jack, put it into the to the gates. Now let's use that asymmetrical envelope to gate the sound. Oops, had some reverb on. Bye bye. Listen for the varying attack and decay sculpting, short, long, fade in, etc. Instead of using the airplane A envelope going to the attack of airplane B, I'm going to use the random voltage source from the shuttle control. Quick sidebar. I'm using a really cool plugin in Ableton Live called Random Notes. I'll leave a link to this donateware in the description for this video. It randomizes pitches, time, and velocity. Of course you could send a steady stream of clocks from your DAW, but then the tempo becomes fairly predictable, though might be a fun choice to explore. I'm in for random. I created a Krell template for the shuttle with plenty of different flavors of random CV and triggers. I think it will be available on the Endorphin site soon in the shuttle control editor. Back to the patch. I'm taking airplane B out of self-cycling and I'm going to use a bipolar probability trigger from shuttle control to the check-in and randomize the pitch of the carrier oscillator. What I love about this patch are the spaces between the events. I find it exciting to try and anticipate what might come next. Taking another probability trigger to check in on airplane A and similarly randomize its attack and decay. and gate it to filter A. Bring an audio rate sawtooth wave in from the modulator oscillator to the gates. And randomize the modulator. And now we are in glorious stereo. Add some yummy spring reverb Randomize the further setting and explore other knob, switch, and modulation settings.
Happy exploring.